Guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I wanted to show you uh, my progress on polishing my Desert Eagle. I just kind of put it together. Um, I think I mean it's not really together, but this is kind of how it you know it looks polished. Okay. Oh, <laughs> let me take it apart and show you what I got here. There's the barrel. There's the slide. There's the frame. Okay, what I did today. Uh, I uh, went ahead and put it on a buffing wheel and um, polished the little mothers and mag wheel polish. Now you can see how it's turning out. And uh, uh, there's some lines in here, as you can see them. But what you want to do is, I found out like when I've been polishing this, is if the lines are running this way, you want to buff this way lines with this buff because you can buff them out so it depends on how you sand now, I have some lines going this way. I'm sanding down this way so I'm going to buff this way uh, I did the back here you can actually see my tripod in the reflection okay there you can see the reflection there right. okay so this is how it's coming along and I did it in between these there are these serrations. See, I did it right in between there, too. Because a lot of places do not do that. Uh, the slide, I did that again. I did it in between my serrations. As you can see. Um, kind of shine I got now. I still have some work to do up in here. This is kind of rough. But it's making progress, you see. Okay. And here's the barrel. Um, that needs a lot more work on the barrel. There's some lines in there. You can see those lines see them? So it needs a, little bit more, a lot more on that. But it's coming. And same thing up here. I, uh, got, I'm getting in between here. Still got a lot more to go in between there. Uh, you know, but, uh, so it's kind of how it looks. Okay. But, uh, I'll give you a little tip of how I did it. Like I say, first I took the gun apart, and uh, what I basically did is um, uh, started with some 80 grit, and I sanded the areas which are like where matte, place that imperfections and stuff. I'm I'm gonna go probably do this for a week maybe because my parts aren't coming in for two weeks. So on and off a few hours every other day, it should be pretty good. Um, I mean, I've been getting prices of other people, and uh, there's there's a guy in Florida about seven hundred fifty dollars, and he won't even just do these three pieces. You know, he wants to do the whole gun, and this is not that complicated. Uh, it's just a lot of time into it. Um, like I say, um, it, it it's not that hard. Probably the hardest part is getting the gun apart and putting it back together. The buffing and the polishing, like I say, but in there you will, like you see a little imperfections in there. If you ever so see it at an angle, it's kind of hard to see it because it looks pretty damn good. You'll see a few lines and all that requires to be buffed out. And a buffing wheel does help. I bought a $79 buffing wheel, comes with two pads and um, I have the buffing rouge and I do it outside and it really, I think it turned out pretty good. But once again, it's not finished yet, but here is the barrel. Like I say, this used to be just plain metal, metal stainless steel. It's just what you can do, a little work. I mean, I have to do it up here again. You can see the areas where you need it. Frame I'm real happy with it turned out nice, and also see it had a, a bump in the inner, and I'm not done there. You could see that bump. It had a bump in there. I took it down a lot, but I don't want to take it down too much, and I just got to clean it up a little. Over here, it had another one of the bumps too. I completely removed it. It was up here. Still totally got because I had a lot of extra metal to work with. That's the only time I needed the Dremel, but uh, was to remove that bump. Polishing this was a pain because this was kind of, uh, had that mat on it, but uh, turns out pretty good. 
and uh, like I say, the probably the most amount of work I'm going to have is probably in here, okay, around, uh, along here, right here. This was the hardest part, and uh, it's actually looking pretty good now. But uh, thanks for tuning in, and that is my Desert Eagle 50AE, and uh, uh, my polishing project. I'm just doing it for other people that maybe would want to polish their gun. It's not hard. Uh, the biggest thing is just taking it apart and putting it back together, I think, uh, is probably the most work. And uh, I'm not sure if slide uh, mag or I'm not sure if the slide, the barrel, or the uh, frame is more work. Uh, I probably will do a magazine. Uh, of course, that's not going to be coded. I mean, I could probably buy one too. But uh, thanks a lot for tuning in, and uh, of course this is, like I said, uh, the polishing process, I guess. Uh, I guess you could call this step three. Step four is going to probably, when I'm, well, there might be five steps in this. Uh, this is probably going to be like a step four, or step three, and then four when I finish it, and five when I assemble it. So, uh, this is just not even a step and this is just I'm stopping now I want to show you it and uh, like I say it's not that hard check out my other videos I, I've kind of got a step-by-step -step process here and I'm doing it disassembling it what I'm using but uh, I think it looks pretty good thanks a lot guys